So, hi guys, today I have here Jason, also known as Tonokip on our IRC. He did wonderful thing. It's a long time ago, but he did Tono Kipfirmer, on which was based Clement Kipfirmer, and now Sprinter. Also Merlin and all the other sprung. Ah, how do you firmware? okay. Yeah. So tell us something about you. How do you get to rap rap? Um, I got to, into rep rap uh, a while ago. I've always been into like electronics and do-it-yourself projects and stuff, but I've never really had the time or energy to really do it. And when rap, rap when I found out about rep rap, probably on one of the uh, tech websites, um, I just I just knew I had to really get into it. And and at the time, uh, you, it was really difficult because it was hard to get printed parts. So. Oh yeah, how, how, how long ago is that? Like two, two or three years ago. It was Sales Mendel's time, right? It was Sales Mendel. It actually was Darwin when I was oh, figuring out how to get into it. And I had to really, uh, when Mendel came out like right right around when I was coming into it as well. So. Yeah, that's similar with me. So, how did you get into writing your own firm, I think? Actually, it, it came into being because I was struggling a lot with the the 5D um, official RepRap firmware at the time, um, written by uh, Adrian Bauer, which is the main uh, RepRap lead uh, person at the time. So, um, and I was struggling with serial errors, where uh, you know it would cause uh, yeah, it would, it would cause all kinds bad. of problems with the print. Um, and I, I really had to solve those serial errors, and there's nothing I could do to get rid of it. And it seemed to have to do with with Sanguino and with interrupts yes. uh, on the firmware 5D firmware on Sanguino. And I and I just couldn't. I needed to reliably print my, my print my, for my printer. And yes. you know it was a problem. And uh, these people, Hydra people, uh, came out with the firmware, um, and I, I started looking. I I really couldn't understand the 5D firmware that much when I was yeah. trying to look into it, so it was really kind of hard for me to solve the problem. But once I started seeing some of the other fir uh, firmware written for other types of machines, CNC machines, um, it kind of really gave me a better understanding of how you could interpret commands from the host and how you could write that stuff um, for a fully working firmware. And it kind of planted the seed um, and allowed me to understand that type of thing, that type of stuff. So. Yes. So can you share what's your day job, or do, do you know programming, coding? Um, at the moment, I don't have a day job. Okay, so I don't know if I want to be saying that. But, you know. No, it doesn't matter. So you have yeah. more time for rep rap. Right, right now, yeah. Right now, I'm all rep rap. If I want. Yeah, so yeah, that's cool. Maybe you can start rep rap business too. I know. I, you know what? I'm full time rep rap right now. How cool is that? Yeah. Anyway, do you have any remarks you want to say to the end of the video? Um, no, just that rep rap is cool. I think everybody needs to build a printer. Yeah, I agree. What can so, I say? Every, you know, it's, it's something that you could really just spend your time doing. Thanks, man. All right. Take care.